The students at Darrington had some special needs in regards to technology education. The students at Tesla STEM have some needs in regards to outdoor environmental education. So we kind of forged the idea of, of building a mutual partnership. We're really interested to learn from you about what it is that you know about your environment here. We brought 32 Tesla STEM students up here to teach five different activities all day long to the 100 students who are in the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade up here at Darrington Middle School. One of them is in water quality. We're using Logger Pro today to test our water. They'll be able to see what it's like to have these new resources right on hand. I'm excited about um, what our students are going to be able to share with the Darring Darrington students, but also what they're going to be able to share with us. The pH probe is just getting adjusted to the water. And I'm ready. Starting to level off. This is awesome. <laughs> I've been working with the water quality group today, and we've gone to the river and we've tested the water quality and stuff like that, but getting to come back and see the results come up on a computer screen and being able to have conversations about it with students who um, have a little more experience with the technology side of it has been really neat to see. This is kind of what loops look like in more advanced code. One of the things that I am most I'm most connected with is our STEM Reach program and that's our girls programming um, mentorship that we do. We're just trying to show them the basics and what they can do with programming and, and ultimately what they can do with like the internet in general so they can make their own websites, they can make their own games and we're kind of trying to bring that to here. You're in City One right now so maybe try three or four. It's a really great experience for both of us. Their end goal here is to build a STEM middle school. We've had the experience of being at a STEM focused school for the year and we can help them try and make theirs more, more STEM focused by doing things like this. We're designing the park in Minecraft and eventually in hopefully a year or so we're going to bring it to life. We're going to come back, bring it to life. Because if you have renewable power plants that don't make any pollution... Students have developed a game both on the computer and also a card game version of making appropriate choices on energy for the future. We're trying to teach them more like how the world works and why it's important that you choose to use renewable energies over fossil fuels. And basically what it shows you is that Yes, although initially it might be more beneficial to use fossil fuels or those non-renewables, it pays back over the long run to use these renewable energies. Today was a, a great day. The students were engaged, they were um, learning, they were having fun. And so we're going to give you a quick design challenge. I think for our students, wherever they go next, they're going to have a perspective on knowing what it's like outside of their microcosm. They're going to have a whole idea of, you know, what a different community looks like. We're looking to try to change some lives, both here with the Darrington kids and also with the Tesla kids. Give them a different perspective of what the opportunities are in the world.